take you to Jordan, where King Abdullah is opening an international conference to work on urgent and humanitarian responses to Israel's war on Gaza. Let's listen in. The specter of famine looms large. Trauma is ever-present, the effects of which the Rafah military operation has already worsened an already dire situation. Nearly one million Gazans have been again forcibly displaced and deprived of access to food, water, shelter, and medicine. Even those displaced time and again seeking safety are targeted. No place is safe. My friends, the international humanitarian response in Gaza has been severely lacking with the delivery. The people of Gaza are not looking to us for platitudes and speeches. They want action and they need that now. As we gather here within today with so much at stake, our immediate focus must go to four paramount issues. First, there is a need for a robust mechanism for coordination that engages all parties on the ground. Effective and comprehensive deconfliction between the actors on the ground is key to ensure aid agencies can act, organize, and perform their duties safely, sufficiently, and sustainably. Second, the land corridor is the most effective method for aid to flow into Gaza. International resources are critically needed to undertake this urgent endeavor. We must be ready now to deploy a sufficient number of trucks to deliver aid on the daily basis. Hundreds of trucks are needed within Gaza and many, many more are needed to effectively operate a sustained flow of assistance through the land routes to Gaza. We cannot wait months to mobilize these resources for action. What we have today is simply far from what we need. Nevertheless, Jordan will continue sending assistance along with international organizations and donors by land despite the impediments. It will also continue its airdrop operations and will consider opportunities to use heavy left helicopters to deliver aid for the short term and once there is a ceasefire. Third, the quality and quantity of aid to Gaza is key and is equally important. Medicine, water and shelter materials.